so that I just may upload in the, in the YouTube and so everyone knows. And whenever you re we review your particular game, if you send me a file, you can also come to the chat, uh, to the channel. Uh, we are looking for just long games. It doesn't have to be like any specific requirement. Any long games will do. The idea is to, like I said, general questions and look for team fighting as well. Uh, mid game slash late game. We are not going to be looking at the lanes because the idea is for to make this session useful for everyone. And in my opinion, if we look at one lane, it's like pretty, pretty specific to the role itself and to the matchup itself. So I thought making more like about mid game, uh, late game, which might, you know, include something more uh, general concepts that can help uh, each of you. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if you wanted to say anything beforehand, uh, Thomas, or we can all call you, let's say. <laughs> yeah, uh, th thank you for the uh, in interaction and uh, how, how you how you described me. <laughs> okay. I much appreciate it. Um, yeah, uh, just uh, briefly about me. Um, this is my first time I'm doing this. Um, I get coached uh, with you for a few months actually, and you helped me a lot from a uh, kind of platinum to to master and this is not the end so so yeah thanks for that okay okay amazing happy to hear uh so yeah guys we have a lot of people that i i've been coaching for a while i know so i'm really happy that you guys can be here like really for everyone i i appreciate all of you uh a lot of cool people that i've known for a while everyone so i'm really happy that you guys can make the time for to be here uh, like I said, for the people that I'm joining now, if you want to send me any replay, any replay that is long will do. Send me DM and you can join into stage to talk and review with us. You can just send me a screenshot. Uh, Trappy saying you have a 45 minute game where I lost. Uh, awesome. Yeah, you can send, send me a screenshot of that game and you can join later and we will review. Uh, the session is going to be between one or two hours. Um, I think we could begin looking at one of your games, uh, Thomas, and we can do Genos. And yeah, we'll be yeah, doing sure. by the by the times so you say. I, I think we look at some... We look at some games, then we do some polls. If you guys are thinking in the meantime about any questions which might be related to the game, solo queue related to ourselves, uh, uh, you guys want to ask how you know how to wicked, for example, how did you climb to from platinum to master? Why did you focus? Uh, if you want to ask something in that sense, can be done. Something about your own game or PGG, you can send the link to review. The idea is to for everyone to participate. So anything you guys want to uh, do works perfectly fine. Uh, so now I'm going to stream my screen. I don't know if you guys can see it. I think you should be able to. Yeah. Uh, everyone like everyone can see yeah. it. Uh, if someone can tell, because uh, I don't It's the first time I use this as well. Okay, perfect. Uh, so I have your two games. I'm going to just choose one randomly. Uh, wait, I'm going to open the, my, my most important tool that I have. Uh, and yeah, I don't know which account you played. It was in Wicked account. Yeah. Is this the one is this the one they have the team fights? Uh-huh. Alright, cool. Yeah. Uh you so can. some yeah. questions that we are gonna try to resolve. Uh you'll be back in a sec. Okay, perfect. Yeah, no problem. You we're gonna be here afterwards, so no problem. Uh questions or, or things that we will try to resolve and for everyone to have clear uh in solo queue, which I feel it's sometimes confusing. It's how do we approach team fighting in solo queue? Uh, do like and who to focus, how to play them. Uh, it's fighting actually good. When should we fight? Uh, should we look for something else? Uh, so it's more like a macro and micro session in the sense uh, how does I mean once the fight has to be taken or once um, we are forced to take a fight, how should you be playing it in that sense that we're gonna be talking about? And uh, before that, of course, if you should be taking the fight at all, that's also something we'll be discussing. Uh, if it's better to push, if it's better to do something else, uh, the questions that uh, general people have that arise. I see some people are sending me DMs. Uh, I will look at them. I will start by looking at this game. Then I will go into my DMs. Uh, Rafa, hello. I'm going to be talking English here. Uh, he's from Mexico. Uh, if you have any games you want to send me that are long, we'll take a look. I know we were traveling, so maybe you have. Basically, we'll be reviewing games and, and talking. Any question you have, just drop it in the chat. So, uh, how was the lane from this game, uh, Wicked, if you want to tell us briefly, so that we move into mid-game and analyze the fights? Okay, so, the lane for me was just about the, the surviving, because uh, Zyra and now it's, uh, it's not actually what you want to play against. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, after all, it was, it was good. Uh, my, my Soraka got uh, kind of caught a few times. 
but uh, none of them like really mattered. Uh, okay. It was more about the team fights that we actually had. Okay. And, and actually, about the team fights, you only want to team fight only when there is some objective to take. Um, yeah. So actually, we try to accomplish that. Uh, yeah. So if you will like uh, let the game move along. <laughs> we will see. Okay, perfect. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to say, this game you ended up winning? Yes. Okay, so you guys see the initial situation, which is uh, 21 to 6. <laughs> it's not looking good. Your top lane is 1 and 7. Uh, this is looking pretty bad. Looking pretty bad. And let's see how through correct fight... Actually, this game is perfect. Uh, thank you, man, for forgetting this. Uh, science stomp... Yeah. Like... <laughs> True. Yeah, true, true. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just odd, I guess, but you know, we all get this uh, interest teams. Uh, I can vouch for Thomas, for Bikid, saying he's really good and he's getting into I, I can confirm. <laughs> so, uh, here we're gonna be seeing how he's able to turn this game around, uh, just through correct team fighting, correct positioning, understanding of the macro game. Uh, how can we have impactful... Um, it's true, if you play bot lane, your, your top lane is gonna troll you. If you play top lane, your bot lane is gonna end you. And it's really bad because in either case, you're like defenseless because if you're bot lane, your top lane ints is like, what are you supposed to do? And if you're playing top, your bot lane ints, then the ADC will just melt you. So it is what it is. Um, so as, as we get said, uh, I, I will resume on that, uh, on that, which is uh, we only take fights on objectives. And that is true on objectives that, has, that have to be fought because you're not going to be fighting a dragon now. Uh, yeah, you course, just yeah. leave, of course. So objectives, for example, defending towers. The idea is they will pressure you, they will control the map. Uh, it's just to take advantageous opportunities. Uh, trying to look for shutdowns, it's generally what people look for, which is good. Like you should uh, look for shutdowns. I mean, it's a ton of cash, as everyone knows. But you shouldn't put your game plan around taking a shutdown. I don't know if you take it out. Okay, you do. This is what you carry, probably. But it shouldn't be the center of your game plan. It should be like something that you can achieve through correct playing and correct uh, setting the situations correctly. Uh, as we know, this is a master game, right? More or less. Yes. So this yes. is a master game. Uh, we see how he can uh, exploit uh, some mistakes to come back to the game and get advantage through this. And of course, through proper CSing, proper positioning, and and, uh, and etc. So if you want to tell us um, briefly what your idea is, like here, game plan, uh, briefly looking at this state of the game, if you want to tell us. Uh, okay, so yeah. Uh, sure. As you can see, yeah, the Herald was on the top lane, and uh, actually, enemy team was going top as well. Uh, the idea was to like kill Herald as soon as possible, yeah, and get the shutdown on Yone. Um, oh, wait, we kinda <laughs> we'll have a funny way to get it though. <laughs> okay, they can agree with it. And then the fight happens, and and again, I, we see like it's about waiting for the correct situation because enemies will just most likely overextend. Like they're pressuring, and this game seems completely doomed if you look here. Like it's like yeah, it's gone. They're using Herald in top, I mean, uh, 10k you know, behind. It's just smart. it's just done, right? Like, but thinking gold, yeah. Exactly. So uh, what I always say when you guys are winning is to pressure them so they split and are uh, likely to make mistakes, and you can catch good fights. And you know, if, if you're ahead, that's kind of easy to do. Uh, but if you're on the losing side, uh, it's true that the enemies will split to push. Like here, uh, even when it's somehow winning this, I guess. I mean, she should though. But anyway, um, the enemies will be making these mistakes. And it's about just to wait for the right moment to to take it. In this case, this is not going to be a fight, actually. I, I mean, well, I guess this you can consider a fight, but it's set to be 4. So, not really. Oh, 3, we can say. Uh, but again, as an ADC, uh, since we're going to look at ADC now, then some of the games, if you guys send me another, we can look at uh, another role, mainly. If you want someone to play top lane, want to say a top lane game, we'll look at top lane, uh, mid game, uh, mid lane, um, whatever role, it's it's fine. Uh, we said ADC because we both mean it, so it's the main, our main role. But I mean, we're also going to be talking about general notions of fighting and when to take the fights. Maybe on the execution part, we're going to be talking about the ADC, because here, he's playing ADC. Uh -huh. Um... I, ideally, overall, like for every role, uh, it's about, you know, people think fighting it's throwing dice, and you, you would be right if you think that, but you would be wrong if you're fighting when the fight is a throwing dice, when the fight is random. What do I mean? If we put five people to fight against each other, even with advantage, 
I mean, if the advantage is this big, they will most likely win. So you shouldn't take a 5v5, right? Overall, in the game, you should try to avoid all sort of 5v5s. And I know at some point, it's uh, you're forced, basically, to take them. Uh, like, minute 35, uh, you're forced to take 5v5s. The idea is to get a significant advantage so that you we don't have to take those in fair conditions. Anything under fair terms for each team, it's, even if you're incredibly good, it's likely going to be a coin flip. Uh, even if you play correctly, unless you have an incredible amount of lead to secure it and you play everything right. Uh, the idea is to take fights even when you're winning that are not 5v5, 50-50, we don't know what's gonna happen, even if you're ahead. Because even if you're ahead, you can lose fights. Like, let's say two on your team misplay. Let's say when gets caught, uh, Jarvan misses the EQ somehow, you lose the fight. Boom. What did you learn? Nothing. Right? What did you do wrong? Maybe nothing. So the idea is to wait for these moments, as uh, Wiki is doing patiently, where the enemies will just throw and they will throw again, like here they're doing. And this, as you guys can see, it's not something that's exclusive to uh, low elo. Let's say it's something that happens in what's supposed to be high elo, as we see these people are master, or between the one and grand master, I guess. And again, as we see, Wicked angle to play the fights, always max range, not in the center of the fight. He gets caught at the start, but no problem. And then max range hitting. Always max range, and then just picking up. And here he got incredibly fed, he got shutdowns. And it doesn't matter how ahead the enemy is, uh, they give way much gold by doing this just because of shutdown system. Uh, but yeah, still, the game is far away from one. Uh, even though they entered and we got that opportunity to come back, uh, it's far from over. So, you we can tell us uh, about this, like, following moments, what's the, the idea for the game, what's the... Okay, so the idea thinking? right now, since they were all, uh, all that, I, I was about just to take the tower, just the bounty system, just to get us more, not ahead, but even, uh, and just to get the Drake, but uh, this is not going to happen, but unfortunately. Mm -hmm. So right now I'm just patiently waiting for the next fight, probably Baron right now. Uh huh. And if a five v five were to happen in Nashor, yeah, would you take yeah. it? Uh, it depends. It depends. Depends on. It would. Well, it depends if if it will be like really five v four because Seo needs to split push, uh -huh. I believe. And uh, then it would like what sums they have or not, but. Most likely not. It would not be like a good idea. Since look at this Yon, right? Mm -hmm. He solo killed uh, Soraka. Well, your Soraka has been like running it down for a while. Um, yeah. she, let's see. She's been the front line. <laughs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> let's see. So the enemies are pushing you. Your team is kind of griefing. This, I guess, uh, we all can get identified with this situation. This is something that uh, happens for <laughs> what I <laughs> in here, even myself, even everyone, literally. Uh, but again, the idea, let's see if we can see some team fight, which here, this doesn't look right. Uh, this doesn't look good for you. <laughs> and John is building tag items, so it's kind of rough to kill him. Uh, also, some factor that you do outscale them. Uh, well, we have Jinx. Uh, well, I guess the one will kind of be useless. I don't believe in her, but I, uh, Jinx is, you know, scales better than this, I guess. Nautilus is also the case. So, uh, I guess that's also a, an important point. Let's see what we see some fight. Let's see, actually, let's see for, for your mistake, because you also gotta tell me what happened here. I believe I got hit by Yonagult uh, for some reason. Your, your position is good. Max range, hitting. The problem is the fight itself. Maybe. Okay, that Gale Force. Yeah. Kill you, actually. And he flashed, which is. Uh, it puts you in a tough spot, flashing cleanse there. A bit. Uh, a bit sus. <laughs> uh, but I would say, um, as. This is just for ADCs, but. Uh, I guess you can apply it to some other roles like mid game, I mean, like I, mid lane I as well. I broke the first rule. Exactly. Not to kill first in for the kill. Well, well, yeah, that is, that is one of the um, the, the main rules. Yeah. <laughs> the idea is that you guys, uh, of course, if you're playing an assassin, of course, if you're playing a top lane, the 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 shift, like the the idea changes uh, slightly. If you're playing uh, ADC, always front whack. You never go for kills here. Basically, the shutdowns are inexistent. When you team fight, every, this is for actually this applies to every role. When you're team fighting, 
you don't are not in mid game, you're most likely not even fighting about the kills itself. Like the kills come to a secondary place because it doesn't matter. If you kill, if you pick up someone, you kill someone. The pressure that's gonna give you as a team, it will be way more goal rewarding than getting the kill itself, right? So it's important to know and understand that the fights don't happen because of kills. They happen because of map control, because of area control, because of objective control. Uh, ideally, the fights happen because of something or because one of the sides of the team is exploiting an advantage. And this is important. You guys should stay with this. Uh, why so? When do we fight in overall, not team fighting? Where do we fight when we have some sort of advantage, when there is an objective to contest, but overall when we have an advantage to exploit on our side? We wouldn't fight if the fight was a 50-50. It wouldn't be a good bet to take in League of Legends if you want to climb. Uh, it's never a good idea to take a fight that you don't know what is supposed to happen. I'm talking maybe about 1v1s in top lane, uh, top lane all-in, and mid game or mid lane all-in, a 2v2 in the river, it doesn't matter, it applies to everything. We fight because we want to control something, either the lane pressure, we want to pressure the enemy to roam, we want to trade with them so they are low, maybe we want to kill them. But it's all to understand that the, the, the whole objective of fighting, of trading, of team fighting, etc. Um, it, it can be to kill them and get the gold, yes, that's fine, uh, it's a lot of gold sometimes, yes. But usually it's going to be just to fight over something else. So either an objective, either the pressure on the map, either the control. Uh, if you understand the, the, the what's behind the fights, you're really never going to be over committing for a kill or creating for a kill or whatever because you're able to see that you do get way more out of all the sources. If you might say it like that. So whenever a teamfight is happening here, uh, again, does it really matter if you kill someone at this point? Uh, 11k gold, does it really matter if you kill someone that gives 300? Really? What do you think? Probably not, yeah. It doesn't. It wouldn't change much. It wouldn't change nothing. I mean, it would change that someone, it's on the map for like 40 seconds, whatever. Uh, that would be the important thing, that you killed someone and they're off for 37, 40 seconds, uh, something like that. That would be the important thing. The goal itself, it's it's nothing. Here, it's not It's not bad that you want to kill for sin, I, I guess. It's not... Uh, I, mean, I, mean, oh, I mean, it didn't work out, of course, but I mean... The idea that you want to kill someone, get the reset, and then keep going, I can get it. But I see even if you kill someone, it's kind of rough to kill the rest. Um, still, the fight wasn't really optimal, just because your team is also still losing. And as long as this guy is in close nearby, it's not a fight you want to take. Uh, not because Soraka frontline and died, <laughs> which is also what happened. Um... But for example, when Johnny was fighting top, he got caught alone, then the rest of the team fell, fell, um, like, you know, fell apart, yeah, right? Fell apart, yeah. So that is a situation that we want to be looking for. Sometimes the people that are fed uh, are split or are not looping, and, and those are the moments that we should like attack, let's say. Uh, because here, the problem is Johnny. Uh, if he ults you, unless you dodge, there's no counterplay, right? Unless you yeah. somehow flash, get it away, you're just dead. Uh, so the idea is... Um, Identifying this main threat, which is kind of easy if you press the tab for a millisecond, you see that Johnny is incredible threat comparing to the rest of the people. Sion, I guess, is a threat, but he will never be in mid lane pushing, um, or at least most of the times. Uh, so once you do recognize that threat, it's about um, taking precautions or, or when you want to face it or how you want to face it under your terms and not uh, their terms, which is they group up with the one that's fed, they force a fight, they win. That's their terms, right? Um, so yeah, maybe we can see some team fights to see how you play them. Because here, yeah, this result in Hivator, whole team dying. Uh, well, it will didn't die, but kind of whatever. And here, you know, I guess when was but able to hold. But if yeah, if when like made some earlier mistake and and they could probably end the, the game if let's say Sion killed when in the sideline or something. Yeah, could have just ended it, probably. Uh, so we see how important these sort of um, little mistakes or like little things. Again, even if it wasn't your fault, the idea of understanding the fight, how we want to approach and take them, it's also important uh, to not commit yourself to a bad fight and maybe to try to call it off even, uh, most likely. Uh, so yeah, maybe let's see. I, I don't want to like stay the whole session in this game, of course. I want to look at many. I wanted to like show this as a starting point so you, everyone understands like what's the point uh, or what I want to look at because I don't want to go and look at everything in the game. 
Maybe we can just see two team fights, then we move into another game. Maybe Gino. I don't know if you're around in the chat. Or I see some people DM me. Wait, let me check. Proctos, you got a game. Awesome. We're gonna see it as well. Okay, Sydney, you got a game. Perfect. And we're gonna look at it. Uh, I don't know if Gino, you're here or you're FK. Let me tag it. Maybe. Oh, he's here. Good. Oh, he is? I didn't see the chat. Okay, perfect. Hello, hello. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so we'll look at a couple of fights, then we'll look at uh, Gino's game, then we have some some other. I don't know if I got Trappy, Balao, uh, trading. Okay. I'd like to know how to trade in lane and fights in one range. Okay, perfect. We're gonna look at uh we're gonna do like Balao, we're gonna do one like maybe one more game. Then we're gonna do like a break for uh like every question you yeah, you guys have about the game and everything. Maybe we can answer to them with Gino here. Um and then we can keep going. So yeah, um, so I will leave it to you. I will be all ears. If you wanna explain to me the following fights, uh, what the mistakes were, why why are they good or bad? So I will leave you the stage. I will just play and move the mouse for you. <laughs> I th uh, this was the fight where we kind of miscommunicated with the Gwen, since my idea was a little bit different than hers. But uh, uh, nevertheless. I think we should move to the somehow the ending fight where uh, we won. Oh, here? They, uh, up? Or what do you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah we can here. Or one of these, or not worth? Dragon fight, maybe? Uh, you, you can go there. Maybe if, if this would be better. So sure, I think we just wanna get the Aron. I uh, join anything in. <laughs> yes, this happens uh, every I mean, time. This is like a. Yeah. A classical. Int. <laughs> yeah, take the free drake. Focus on the Baron. Oh, wait. I went too fast. Well. Okay, so. So the, the thing is that the Scion. He's on the sideline, he's pushing, so someone needs to contest him. Uh, the best would be Gwen, since she can shred him like fast, or, she, or just somehow defend something. Um, they went into like a bad spot, seems. Mm -hmm. um, let's see what uh, happens next. Okay, okay so we got the Yon, which is like huge. Uh huh. Gonna go in again too early. I mean, yeah, the Yone always try to like cut something off before the fight, so we somehow knew this is going to happen again. Yeah, and this guy. Important to see, guys. Again, he's always staying max range using animations correctly. He did the EW perfect there, like which is they can do it at the same time and keep on attacking the auto attack tempo. Uh, all of these things are, I mean, they look small because I'm kind of looking at it fast to be able to look at more games. Uh, but they do matter uh, a, a lot, like being able to execute and understand your role uh, correctly. For example, here in this unit, in this game, we can say unit does not. Um, if you're playing, again, your role always, it's different if you're playing top lane, if you're playing mid game, the, the mid lane, the idea it's uh, maybe people think they have to like flank and kill someone just because they're playing mid lane. Which again, it's good if you're able to put it off. Uh, of course, if you're able to go and flank someone, kill them, it's it's gonna be great. Of course, so everyone's gonna be like, "Oh, the mid just killed the ADC. He's so good. Uh, that's great. We won the fight, you know." But it's not always gonna be something you can actually do in, in every game or in every fight. So you shouldn't be like forcing like this guy is doing, which is like he died uh, four times because he wanted to force kill someone uh, or like uh, one shot someone and then go back and free free win. Uh, it's also about being patient and understanding what you should be accomplishing during a team fight, not maybe just before yourself alone going in and suiciding, very much. Which is kind of what this guy is doing. If you're playing top lane, uh, you know, everyone thinks I have to commit to being the front lane for my team, I have to take care of them, uh, etc. 
uh, you know, yes, many of games you will be having to do that, of course, uh, but so many others you wouldn't. Uh, Scion, for example, uh, Shino plays Scion here, so, um, you know, like, you can very much be a tank for your team, but if your team is completely useless, you might as well just go in and kill the NEC, like, yourself, you know, just R into the team, the fight, just flash in and be a menace. Uh, it really depends on the particular situation, but it's also about understanding what's the the what you want to accomplish and not really closing yourself to one thing. By the way, I need to leave in 15 minutes. Oh, okay, 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 perfect. Okay, so we can do Genos then. And then, uh, okay, so Genos just said uh, he has to leave in 15 minutes. So maybe we can look at some of his games. He's going to have a official like uh, screen game or something. At his, or I have a Prime League game, uh, Prime League. So maybe we can quickly finish this and then look at one of his and then we can uh, resume. We, can, we have uh, so many games to do. We can look at G Genos games and then we can do like... Uh, uh, questions, uh, like Q and A, about general things. You guys have um, any? Like, I just wanna say one thing. Yes. About the ADC, you just you wanna first position correctly and then start doing damage, not the other way around. And also, not too sure about the top lane, but about the top lane, it doesn't really matter too much for playing a tank if you position like this or that or do damage here or like to another one. You just want to protect. Or engage, it depends on the like mm -hmm. uh, situation and the champs you're playing with and against. Okay. Nice. Uh, well, this is just a fight. I guess they, they already made things, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> still, it still was I pretty mean, nice. Uh, the, but yeah. I, I, lost it, so. I don't know if you guys have any questions about this game specifically. I can move in. I can move in. Uh, okay, Hachi, don't worry if you have to go. We can watch it next time. No worries, no worries. Uh, he he sent me a file and then he has to leave, but it's fine. Uh, so yeah, I can move in. Uh, sorry, I don't know if you wanted to say something else or. No, no, no. That, that was it about the about the ADC and the top roll. Okay, perfect, perfect. Uh, does any anyone any one of you guys have any questions about what we reviewed or what he said or anything you guys think it's different? Can be you can write in the chat. Uh, if anyone wants to say anything, or if you want to join to the channel as well later, you can. Uh, Gino, I'll invite you to join, so we can look at your game. I already did. I don't know if you can. Okay, perfect. Hello? Hello, Gino. Hey. How's it going? Pretty good, pretty good. Hi, nice. Uh, what game are you playing? Are you playing into uh, uh, against like good team, or chilling? Yeah, they have like two gyms. Okay, okay, we're, we're playing, we're playing. Uh, all right, so uh, what game do you want to look at from you? We can all the three uh, speak, talk about it and discuss and analyze. And of course, you, everyone in the chat we, can. If we want to team fight, I think the vein one, the just scroll down a little bit. Uh, which one? The 13-6. 13-6, uh, here. Yeah. Okay, you smurfed with Vayne. Nice. Yes. <laughs> what about this game? Uh, well, it was a cluster fiesta, but it was a fiesta <laughs> in a proper way. It was, uh, I mean, they had a really uh, hard team to play into, like fights wise. I actually died to kill like three times, some bad. But it, I think it kind of shows where ADCs are terrible at if they have no Q, because. Uh, it's really hard to play fights when no one's playing them for you. Mm -hmm. You have to position yourself like basically my entire front line was driven. Okay. Let me load and we can take a look uh, before you have to go. Yeah. The other one was the clean game, but it doesn't really do any uh, uh, team fighting. Wait, let's just say this. <laughs> uh, that's that's okay. Uh yikes. Oh, Is it a file? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. Yes. You can send me fun real fast. Uh, uh, with your download. <laughs> the what? I can't download it as well. Oh, it's oh. just the, the game itself is bugged. Yeah. Oh, yikes. I, I will try it as well. It's, yeah, it's EU West. You can check. Uh -huh. In the meantime, we can yeah. guys uh, talk about some... I don't know if anyone has any questions. I see Balao here DM'd. Uh, he says, uh, hey, I would like to know how do I trade in lane and in fights if my range is shorter than my opponent's? Uh, good question. 
Good question. When you mean your range is shorter than your opponents, do you mean uh, like the other ADC or do you mean the team overall? Like, do they have poke? Like, do you mean that as a team perspective or as a matchup perspective? Lane, uh, like, regarding their lane. Where is this going? Static shield? Okay, that's nice. Everyone, okay. Uh, you want to start uh, talking about this, uh, Thomas, if you want, and then uh, I will give you my thoughts. How do you play if your range is shorter than them, than theirs, I guess? Um, yeah, you mean in the ADC point of view, right? Yeah, yeah, he plays easy. Uh, uh, okay, it's it really depends on the specific situation. Uh, uh, but overall, um, if uh, like any of the opponents like uh, miss or like threw away their uh, key skill shot or uh, spell, you can use this opportunity like to punish them for that. Or if you if they want to like uh, uh, take the creeps or something you can always or most of the time punish them and i believe it also like tells you something about the support if he wants to punish them or uh somehow trade with them i mean you always trade in the lane um and also it depends on what champs you have if you have all in poke or something like that um, but yeah, that would be my point of view. Okay, okay. I don't know if Junior, you want to say something about this while I try to download your game somehow. If not, we can just move into uh, some other game. Uh, sure. I mean, range is uh, obviously the best stat that you, ha uh, that you can have as an ADC. But that's when you can use pressure points. So for example, if you have like a hook champion as a support, then your range intimately, like, infinitely becomes way bigger because he can pressure the enemy so he enemy can't really walk up to you. Same goes for like uh, any kind of CC ability and any kind of trading ability as well. So for example if you're playing something like uh, Ash versus Jinx, Jinx has more auto attack range but Ash can poke with W and she can kind of mitigate that. Usually most champions have a way to compensate for range so, for example, one of the most notorious lanes is uh, Lucian versus Caitlyn, where uh, Lucian is disadvantage. But Lucian can also poke through minions uh, with Q, with W. He can also reposition with E and dodge her Q with his E, which kind of compensates for the damage. But it's hard to engage into high range. That's why you should always uh, play those pressure points first. Okay, okay, awesome. And, and yeah, about the fights, it's also being able to use the engage that your team has, as as, um, as Gino mentioned and Thomas, and Thomas as well. Uh, we can, uh, it's about being able to use the resources that you particularly have. If you're shortening range, you're probably better at owning, or at least that's how it should work. Maybe you are not, <laughs> actually, that could be. Uh, anyway, you should always try to fight someone you can hit. Uh, as, we, as we said in the previous game, the idea is to position and then to hit. Uh, ideally, as an ADC, you will just be hitting the front lane most of the times. Um, and what whoever it's easier to hit. So if they outrange you, it's just a matter of waiting for engage. As we all know, uh, engage counters um, poke uh, when, you know, of course, when they go in, right? Otherwise, uh, it doesn't. Uh, so it's just about waiting for that moment, and of course, don't getting like poked out of the game before you get to the engage, before you get to the actual fight, which is where you supposedly should be better if you are getting outranged by the enemy. As as you know, said that uh, you have some hook champions that uh, will just gap close and and have huge advantages. Uh, it's just about knowing how to play around that and understanding that the the shots and the opportunities that you need for you to success are just one. Hook champions need to poke you constantly and zone you constantly. You as a short range engage, let's say if you are engaged, let's say Kaisa, for example, uh, Kaisa ID, I guess AP, you can poke with W, you know, but you, you get my point. Uh, once you do get engaged, you need only one good engage to beat poke uh, overall, just to beat it entirely, and that's the the angle to play. Let's say. I don't know if that uh, asked your question uh, or not fully. You can tell. We can tell me. If you guys want, you can talk about. Okay, awesome. If you guys want, you can talk about the 
why our ADC is going static ship in the meantime, right? Perfect. Thanks, you, man, for, for asking questions. Uh, if you guys want, you can discuss the static ship. And I don't know if anyone else has any questions. You can uh, post them in chat and you guys can discuss. In the meantime, I'll try to set up the next uh, replay. Uh, in the meantime, so if you guys want to. Yeah, sure. So with ADCs going static, it, it gives you like, for example, the Kaisa, like you need like only one auto hit, it procs the static, cue the wave, and then you almost have the prior for the lane. You can go wherever you want, use that time to accomplish something. Uh, it also get, gives you good stats. And uh, bonus damage, of course, it, it varies against the champions you play against. But yeah, from my point of view, I believe it gives you, like, uh, the priority on the line. What do you think, Gino? Mm, I think that if static is busted because of two reasons. First is that AD carries love when items do AP damage. Because uh, no one's going to take... Uh, MR in runes or HP, they always go AD, which also they, they always go armor, which is like insane when you trade them. Another thing is that usually the champions that build the item are champions with good mobility, so like Vayne and Kaisa are really good uh, examples, and uh, Static Shift or any other energized items actually interact really well with mobility, so basically you can uh, proc it like multiple times in a short fight. Whereas if you're playing like uh, Ash, for example, you're going to take longer time to recharge it. And just the fact that when you go AP Kaisa, for example, you... Um, because Static Shift scales off of AP as well, you actually do a crazy amount of damage when you don't even hit the target. You can just hit a minion and then you can do a lot of damage to them as well. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, that was pretty complete explanation. Uh, thank you. Uh, okay, cool. So I don't know if anyone else has uh, any other questions. We can just keep going with the next game. We're gonna do now. Uh, this is my girlfriend's game. Then I'll I'm doing it basically in the order you guys sent it. Then we have I, I guess we can do uh Proctus game and then we can do Law game. Which is and that, those are all the files I have. And Trappy, I have Trappy as well. Like he sent it uh, last. Those are all the files that I have, so I have three more. Uh, yeah, by the way, I'm going to have to dip out. Okay, no problem. Yeah, you go and good luck in your game. Yeah, thank you. So, yeah, yeah. thank you. Bye bye. See you. See you. See ya, bye. All right. Uh, Evan Shaw, Nerf is good. Uh, by the way, is, is anyone, is a 21 my stream line or is it just working fine? Because I can lower the quality. I don't know if it's working. I can see it perfectly. Uh, if it's lagging, you guys tell me I can put it like okay, in 30 fine. FPS. Right. Cool. Alright, so the idea now, since uh, we, we spent like quite a, uh, a lot of time in the game, we can maybe look at the rest like uh, 15 minutes each. We're going to look at just team fights, uh, like we mentioned. Thank you guys for... Uh, oh wait, you... Uh, oh, you didn't send me the file. Uh, so maybe check if you can download, because it doesn't let me. Maybe check if you can get it some from somewhere, like from the client or from like a website that has the replays because it doesn't let me actually download for some reason. Uh, I don't know if this is just me or any one of you guys can download. Uh, not really working. I couldn't right. download the, the specific game Gino had. Um, check in. This is he wanted to see the one that is forum one ten, but it doesn't doesn't let me. For some reason, uh, let's wait until Riot Games decides to fix this. <laughs> Maybe we, we can watch in the. I'm not working today. It's server it doesn't work for me either. Okay, it might seem like a Riot Games thing. Yeah. I guess we. I wish they have some files though. That I. In the meantime, we'll take a look at those. If it works, like in 20 minutes, we keep going with the with the others, of course. Uh excuse me, Fury. Uh wait, someone else. Ivan Shout Nerf. Is it good anymore for CC support? Um, I. I think it is. Uh, it depends on what support as well. Like I don't know if you have a specific support in mind, uh, Adam, or is it just like overall a question? Uh, excuse me if you already answer, but if you're only reading games, uh, other roles, other roles, other roles. Uh, cool that you're here, man, as well. Uh, thank you. 
if you want to send uh, any any replay, if you can download them, of course, uh, you can ask about any role. Uh, we ideally, I mean, mainly it's going to be ADC because we both play ADC, but uh, we're doing every role since we're not many people and not everyone plays uh, not everyone plays ADC here. We have a mixed. Mo mo most of people play ADC, but not many. Uh, on Thresh, uh, particularly, I think Thresh likes some other items, uh, not the Shroud, uh, but I'm checking just for you. I don't know if we could have more knowledge on this or anyone in the chat uh, checks actively builds. I, I would go look at I believe, on the Thresh. Me too. I think Solari, it's. Oh, but I, I guess yeah, the yeah. three the three items are, are um, possible, like possibility. Either Evan Shroud, uh, Solari, or Shirelia, depending on the game. Uh, I would say maybe it depends if you're able to get some early lead, you can push it with a more aggressive item. And if you don't have any lead, just go Solari. You cannot go wrong. Uh, it really depends also on what your team needs as well. Because if you're ahead and you build Evan Shroud, it's going to be nice because yeah. more than match. Uh, Shirelia, if you need an extra engage to get to them, let's say they're poke and you want to go Shirelia just to be able to run them down as a, as a thresh, that um, will be nice as well. It really depends on the game. Uh, I'll tell you, Solari, it's probably the standard on safest build, I, I think. Especially if you don't have any it's lead. The most standard. Yeah, I think it's the most. Although, I, I also saw the trash with the Radiant very true. But uh, I don't know if that's yeah. doable now, but I've seen it before, yeah. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so let's keep going. Uh, then if you, let's hope the replay system works. Otherwise, I don't know if you, uh, Sydney, have any Law, if you have any way of recording games, like any software you use, maybe with that we could look at the game. You got it? You got the file? Okay, good. Oh, awesome. Okay, awesome. Awesome. <laughs> nice. So you can, uh, if you can send it to me, uh, DM, we can, we can take a look. Perfect. All right. So uh, we're going to take a look at uh, Lulu in this case, my girlfriend in between brackets. Uh, she's playing Lulu into um, Lulu Nyla into Jinx Blades. Which is kind of doomed, because it looks like the supports are the other way, right? <laughs> what do you think we can... Yeah. Like, it looks like the Lulu should be on this team and the Blitz yes, should be in the I other was, team. I was just about to say that. Like, it looks awful. Why it would looks... you pick Lulu to, to Nyla? <laughs> uh, we don't know who pick first. Uh, this is, by the way, a Plandum yeah, 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 uh, ML yeah, game. Yeah. So, got some IRL stuff to do. Okay. Uh, we'll okay, look who joined. Gino, man. Gino, not the Gino that left, the Gino, my friend, the Gino. Man, how's it going? It's been a while. Happy you're here, man. Gino is one of the the persons that uh, motivated me to build the Discord in the first place. He's, he's the first one that asked me okay. to. So, really, you know, he's the OG OG, so I'm really happy he's here. Um, <laughs> nah, man, it's all, it's all true. So, uh, role of a support, in this case, Peel. Uh, in a fight, uh, and overall, we're gonna be looking at everyone. In this case, Jinx is fed. I don't know what this game ended up being. Okay, she, she won somehow. Maybe we're gonna take a look at the comeback. Uh, let's start from seeing mid game. Uh, I'm not gonna talk about, uh, about uh, rotations and such. Uh, as we both agreed, the, um, uh, yeah, the, 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 the isn't the best idea with, with Nala. Yeah, with Nala, you kind of want some engage, and with Jinx, you don't really want to engage <laughs> as well. So it's, and also with <laughs> exactly, Nala, yeah. it's like three and seven, so it's us. Uh, so let's look at fights. Uh, we could talk about vision setup and some other topics. I, I, we can talk about that in some general way, not specifically in support, because uh, the idea is to make it a bit more general. Uh, Drown just died. Let's see. Here we have the first fight. Let's see. All right, so we do have. Okay, so you want to establish a vision? Mm -hmm. Mid lane. In a minute, okay. Uh, I don't quite get why you both are not like holding this. Yeah. Uh, okay, he also I guess that fixes it. Uh, but you <laughs> both could have been like on the tower, really. Uh, like Lulu Rumble. I know this is the probably uh, you could have shot called this actually. Uh. Wait. Okay. By starting, let's see. Let's take a look. Okay. Well, let me see if Riot Games allows me to zoom out, or if it doesn't. Okay, thank you, Riot Games. Uh, what situation do we have starting? Uh, everyone's doing fighting the Herald. Your team, I guess the the score is equal, right? Like basically yeah. equal game. Uh, okay. Okay, so you just need to stall to get Lissandra into the fight. 
Mm -hmm. Listen as far away. Jinx is both important thing to look at. Oh yeah. <laughs> important. <laughs> Wait. Okay, but why is bot? The, okay, never mind. But the question is, did, did her team know that she was going bot lane? That, that's my biggest question because I'm kind of. Did she? Okay. Ping her or something? No, like okay, your her team doesn't really know okay. she's going bot. I mean, neither was it was I expecting it. I mean, if you're ADC, you guys, if you're ADC and you're nine on four. Secure the objective, don't go to bot lane, like, it's the exactly. waves, you wouldn't even make it in time, the waves are already dead, but the moment you arrive, you got like, five minions, in exchange for ending a fight. I know, I tell you guys, you should farm and prioritize safe income, but if you are 9 and 4, uh, you kinda can't secure very much the win. Uh, in a team fight, you just let your team eat all the damage, you hit from behind, like, Wicked did the other game, and it's kinda free, uh, if no one gets to you, of course. Uh, anyhow. Awesome. Sorry, yeah, go ahead. Also, the, the thing is that as ADC, if you push the first tier 1 turret on the bot lane, you don't want to be on the bot lane as well, because then you will be too vulnerable to ganks, to everything. So you want to move to other lanes where are the, the objectives. Right now it's Herald, so why not be there, right? Exactly. Uh, so let's see the fight and how she plays it. Doesn't have R, it's important, like, no R. No R, uh, Nyla, did she... No R as well, like, no one has hold, why are we even fighting this? Like, this is, like, kind of, I, I guess, again, without knowing Jinx's bot, this doesn't make sense, right? At all. Yeah. Do, do you agree with me? Like, this doesn't really make sense. Guys, everyone should know, like, that, that to decide everything in the game, uh, first of all, we need to think about what's the, the, the base of it all. Uh, counting numbers is generally the first thing you should look at, actually. You should, uh, look at, um... How many people are there versus like how many people could be there and that's already guides you to the correct uh, answer pretty much uh, almost every time it's that easy to establish like who like the conditions of the fight in let's say lower elos like high diamond um, below or high diamond and below i guess it's, it's enough in so many cases not uh, not every case but here again potentially we don't know if things could be here lisandra's out of the fight no one has her not a good setup uh again she does she's not shot calling this so she's trying to help them which is good uh, also, another question that people ask uh, is, if my team is sinting, should I just leave them? If you're committing to death, yes. In this case, she's a support, so she has nothing to do. And even if the fight is not the most optimal, things are already short bot, so it's not even that bad, anyway. Uh, and again, she doesn't have anything to do. Okay, I like this participating in the fight like this way. I think yeah. it's good. Uh, people have some sort of misconception uh, overall, like general opinion on the supports that peel. Uh, most people tend to think they just stay back and do nothing, which I couldn't disagree more. I, I think the peel supports has to, be, I mean, they have to be back, of course, when they can get like one shot. You don't want to like be there, and get one shot and stuff uh, before even the fight began. began. Uh, but also in this case, since we're in mid game, you can very much just walk up and participate actively, hit them and be there W someone that maybe it's engaging on your ADC, uh, etc. You can actually do that uh, as an engage and a su pill support. Then maybe in late you don't want to. You just stay back and throw shields, right? But while the mid game is uh, happening, no one's really gonna like one shot to 100 to zero uh, you. Or again, they could, but it's harder than in late game, which everyone can like just kill you easily. Uh, so I think it's uh, it's good. I guess flash to save. Uh, rumble. Yeah, the rumble. You know, I question if you should flash to save into a blitzcrank. Like, I would kind of place my bets on the rumble already. And you also didn't have the shield, so the W. I mean, for a rumble, the movement speed there, it's eh. Like, uh, maybe, okay, I guess you wanted to use it on blitzcrank, maybe, if you flashed, but. DPS wise, uh, n never uh, the the biscuit would kind of never win. A little off the problem there. Do you have any item? You have Shirelia. You gotta be Shirelia now to run away, probably for both. Um, this guy's like Olaf's R needs to to stay active. He needs to hit targets, right? Uh, so if you wish really had to run back, 
this R goes away. Oh, you did use it, I think. No, it's just the passing, right? Yeah. All right. Should should have used Shirelias to run back. Then Hisar runs runs away. Uh, sorry, runs out because he's not hitting any target. Then Lysander arts him and maybe even killing him will be possible here. I, I don't know if he had this item the whole fight or it doesn't show here the cooldown. Does anyone know? It, it does. It should be on cooldown, right? If you didn't have it. Uh, Wicked, do you know? This one, not sure. I, I believe it should be on the cooldown. Be, yeah, okay. It's so. not too true anymore. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. True, so. true. Uh, I guess we can see maybe later. Okay, yeah, that's true. That's true. She used it like yeah, later. Good. Like here or something. Let's see. Hey, okay, here, yeah, that's that's the use. The, there's the use. Mm -hmm. So it does show. Okay. Uh, what happened here? I, I, I thought I saw HP face. Yeah. Okay. Wouldn't use the ignite, but I see. Okay, he should be dead, right? The face now. The it's just oh, okay. it's just face like from back like super easily. Uh, I think too many things were used, but it's fine. Okay, he dies, yeah. Never mind. <laughs> you were right. I thought he was going away, but you were right. Yeah, this is... But Rumble Flash, right? Or no? No, I'm crazy. Okay, no, he does die. Okay, my bad, I guess. I thought she could, like, escape, jump some wall, and, <laughs> and go away. But I guess I was wrong. Yeah. Uh, I guess I was completely wrong. Uh, so yeah, let's see some later fights, and then we can hop into another game after seeing some fights. Uh, we have about uh, three... I don't know if... Or uh, two or three or four more to review, and of course, if anyone has any questions in the meantime, you guys can type them. Yeah, so uh, and again, uh, something I said before, which we want to do in, in every before we fight, it's first of all counting numbers, which I already said it's super. I mean, everyone knows how to do that uh, in the fights, it's, it's super easy to see who's there versus who can be there, and that's it. Uh, also identifying the threat, so we see who's fed. In this case, uh, even though Jinx is uh, super ahead, uh, Olaf was kind of the one that's clearing the game. So one, two, oh, it's cutting. Is is for anyone else cutting the stream? No, no, no. It's it's all good. Uh, At least for, for me, me, I don't want so... like maybe maybe wanna me. I can lower the FPS to like thirty maybe. So it doesn't like for him. Just thirty. It doesn't really matter the FPS that much because I'm not moving all the time. Um, maybe there it works better, uh, Penum. I hope. Okay, if it works better, you tell me. If it doesn't, I put it back to 60. Uh, so, it will be identifying the threat, knowing how to play around it, and, and what's uh, what they want to do. Like here, um, Wicked, what do you think about if... Again, I show you this, which in terms of goal, they're kind of equal. I guess in pressure, it's not that equal. But in terms of goal, they are. What would you think it's an optimal fight? Like, what would you go for? Uh, what do you? What are your thoughts of what do you have to pay attention to when you're fighting and, and what not? Uh, I mean, uh, most of the fights should like happen in the in the Drake or, or Baron right now. Or if you wanna call something off, it will be four v five, then push or something, then mm -hmm. fight, but not before. Okay. Uh, here is the, it's the same case that we saw in Wicked's game. I, don't, I know everyone wasn't maybe there when we talked about it, but someone overextending in top, that it's the, the fed one, let's say, Olaf, which is a threat. It's the same case as Jone. I guess this guy wasn't that fed as, as Jone, but it's the same case. Uh, I mean, Olaf is... it's pain. <laughs> yeah, he's difficult to, to kill, yes. Uh, here, they're alone and one engage. Maybe not the, the way... Uh, I guess the, the outcome was good. Right? But we have to like ask ourselves like Could this go wrong? I guess if your team does rotate, no. But are we sure that it's coming? 100%? What if they just engage on Jinx or something? <laughs> uh, that's one. And second one, could you achieve the same without dying? Really? Uh, what, what do you think? I mean, yeah, maybe, maybe, yeah, but not, maybe not in this team fight. Mm -hmm. But trading, trading Olaf with the Lulu since you you have nothing to say i don't think you can contest baron right now in this game but uh yeah it, it would be like worth towards uh the red red team okay no w oh wait 
<laughs> it's funny because they always focus her <laughs> in the fights. Like, yeah. I guess also the positioning. If you she path like downwards, putting get hit by. Uh, it's it's hard to view this, but the wave gives gives you vision. So if the wave gives you vision, if you path down, you're granted that no one's here because you see that. Here you don't know. A little bit too specific, I know. Uh, so a little bit annoying from my side. Let's see some other fight to see. Oh, oh I like the initiative of of yeah. of. Okay, here got caught, but I like overall the initiative of being oh. the one that's uh, ha like wanting to to engage and to do something, not waiting for your team to, not sitting and waiting for your team to you know to do everything. You can put it back to sixty. Okay. Sorry that it's lagging for you. Well, we hope it gets better. Yeah. All that. Uh. It's, it's, again, well, here you're caught, but it's nice that you're having the initiative to to, to go in, right? And being the one that's engaging and, and be, well, that, that's great, that's great. Maybe what I will think about it's not, like, trying not to die. Because if you die, like, who's going to secure you that your team is going to win it? Like, I don't know what you think, uh, Quicko. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, it's a support. It's a build support. You want to not, not want to, don't want to say stay back. But you wanna help them as much as possible, and what I mean is that you don't wanna die, because the shields are strong right now, and the and the R is is huge, with Lulu. Ah, uh, so the, the initiative it's 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 great about going in and, and being the one that's the, like shot calling. I think that's perfect because yeah, uh, exactly. that's the way yeah, you yeah. win the games actually, uh, being the one that shot calls. Maybe let's not confuse shot calling something and being the one that does the right call and and. Committing to that, to that, uh, because again, you give more value if you stay alive longer, right? <laughs> That's exactly. basically how it works. Uh, as an engage, as an engage, if you go in and die, you did your job, you killed someone else, you traded yourself for like one person and a half, let's say. That's fine. Like you probably like you can put it like that. You jump in, kill two people, that you did your job, man. Like it's great. But as a support, the uh, pill support, the more you stay alive, the more value you are giving. Uh, of course, I guess this applies for everything in the game, but particularly uh, as pill supports. Uh, uh, as well, so it, it's about finding the balance between being the one that engages and not committing to, to dying and killing yourself for that. Uh, being like finding an in between uh, for that, I think that uh, that is pretty nice. Uh, that would be like ideal. Uh, then besides that, I think well, it was good. Sounds like things uh, you can do better in each particular fight or about I guess some other topics. But regarding fights, this would be it. Uh, I think the rest was was pretty nice. Uh, yeah, so if anyone has any questions or you have any questions, you can ask me or, and otherwise we can just move into the next game, which I, I said it was Proctus, I think. Then we have, we have Proctus, then we have, um, uh, Lon, I'm reading by the disco, disco names. Uh, oh, you can't see anything. Oh, I'm sorry. Your internet is lagging, but um, I'm recording this, by the way, so if you want to rewatch any part, like maybe the support part, you can, you can, so, because I'm recording, so. And in the meantime, if anyone else has any other game to send me, like Leo, Leo, sorry, I read it in English, uh, <laughs> or, or Venom, or anyone has any game, you guys can uh, send it to me in DM, of course. And questions, of course, you can type uh, anything you guys want. Uh, so I'm going to go for practice game. Uh, I'm going to download... In the meantime, uh, Procus, do you want to join, like, boys here? Is that, uh, do you want to join with us? If you're here. Yes, okay, let me invite you, then we do on. And if anyone of you guys wants to join to be here or to make a question or just to talk with us, you can also say, like, it's not, it's not like we are just the two talking. Yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> yeah, I invited you. If you, if anyone of you guys want to join, just say, like, your friend, I don't know if Guardian, you want to join as well, you're welcome. Ah, uh, hello, hello. Hello. Hey, how's it going, man? Can you can you hear my fan at all or no? Uh, no, it's just your voice, so it's great. Okay, cool. All right, man. So tell us a little bit about the game that you chose to send me. So I this is know, mid game, just, mid lane. Sorry. It's just one that's like kind of long, and I lost. So. Okay. Okay. I thought there's probably some team fights in here. I would imagine. Yeah, the, the and I think I did okay, and our team did okay, so. It wasn't like a stomp as it as it looked like. I don't remember too much though. No okay. Uh he's playing uh, uh as you guys can see uh Kassain. Kassain, yeah. 
Casa de Med. Uh, Casa win when I play it. Okay, okay. I, I can confirm. <laughs> Based on his win rate, I can confirm uh, very much. Yeah, it's like 70% right now. It's pretty good. It's pretty Whoa. Good. Yes. Um, it's huge. It is, it is, it is. Uh, all right, so basically we all know this champion, uh, Scaler, uh, in lane, you, do, you don't do that much and just wait for your right time and that's pretty much it. Basically? Yes, kind of. Um, so, uh, you said you, you were doing fine and the game was a loss, right? Yeah, what you said. As, as it looked like from the KDAs, I don't remember the game too okay. It was a while ago, but... Oh, yeah, okay. Let's well, see. not a while ago, a few days, I guess. Oh, okay, yeah, let's see. If we can try to find out. Uh, in the meantime, we've got Tau, who's fed. Top side of the map is fed. Bot side, it's a bit equal. I guess your side has a slight advantage, but not that big anyway. Uh, mid lane, we can say it's, it's the side advantage for you, but we can say it's close to equal uh, as well. Uh, slight advantage, uh, of course. Here is the time that you do get something, I guess. Sorry, as I saw. Oh, big fight happening. Okay, so let's maybe back off a little bit so we can analyze the map. Uh, anime bot lane, I... quickly looking at it. Uh, sorry, what? Uh, maybe one question, if, if you can show the build. Mm -hmm. um, oh, it was later. I saw you You were building crown instead of Rot of Ages. Yeah, this, this game I'm doing the... Why. Yeah, this game I'm doing the like conquer setup where you do uh it's it's crown archangels with CDR boots usually. Yeah. And then uh and then just like mask or frozen heart and just like tank items basically. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, now this I... game it's pretty decent because we do need a bit a bit more beefiness, you know, and you still have damage to kill people. Okay, but is it, isn't that like good into some someone that has like or a team let's say that has a strong initial like engage like or a strong like initial burst, which I don't think that you have. I guess Wukong. Mm, not necessarily. I don't think so. No. Okay. There's a whole guide on it I can give you. Okay, wait, no, no, no. I, I, not, I, not that I made, but like uh, he's like he's like challenger or whatever. Mm -hmm. He's like one tricks casting and and like this is one of the builds that he goes. Okay, see you around, uh, yeah. see you around, brother. There you, bye bye. Thank okay, you for bye. being here. Right. Okay. Uh, this rotation, Anivia was bot, she had to go base. Uh, Wukong, we don't see him, I guess. Bolivar is top. Uh, that's our, as far as our information goes, I think when here it's, uh, without even without knowing the outcome, I think it's correct. The both? Okay. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, you go away, right? Yes. Let's see if we get to some uh later later stage of the game. Something's happening there. Well. So Yeah, I wish I had a longer game for you, but no, it's good, man. No, I don't. no worries, no worries, no worries. This uh fine. Nothing really goes both past like 30 minutes, 30 minutes for me usually. Uh, most games actually done that are pretty one-sided, honestly. So it's it will, it will be within the normal, the normal expectation as well. So yeah, it's like a normal, it's a normal game. Wait, I'm getting lost here. <laughs> so many things happening. Yeah, I'm not the only one. Uh, Wukong okay. Colon always gets me confused. I'm feeling okay. <laughs> this is this is oh. funny. This <laughs> MF, this, poor MF man. <laughs> this looks funny, man. Like what the fuck? Okay. Oh rip. What are uh, you doing? Do flash yeah. over the wall, man? I swear. Man, and she you, does have the flash. She I, actually I was, could. I think we would have. I think I would have, man. Man, this is like so tragic. Yeah, I would have flashed over. It's so fucking depressing. I mean, this is like quadra for her now. She doesn't get to play the video game, man. Man, yeah. <laughs> uh, start of the fight. Uh, let's see. Fight. I have a fight here. ADC Cena here. And if you're coming into the bush. Okay, Vol is not there, so it's good. It is. He doesn't have a TP. So here, you see first count and a break advantage for your team. Uh, I, I guess without taking into consideration that misfortune didn't go past it, uh, past the wall. Yeah. But without knowing that, uh, we can say it's. Uh, Advantage for the team. 
here, what, what would be your idea? Like, if I show it to you, like, now, would you take any different decision as, as you did, uh, Proctus? Would you change mm. uh, your mind for this? I, I think if you click on me, check my stacks. I don't know my R stack. Yeah. I have two. Ah, it's kind of... No, I don't think I would. I was thinking if I didn't have that many stacks, I would R over the wall and go for Sona, but I don't think I can do that with that many stacks. I'll use too much mana on the first drift. And then I won't have enough for the second, I don't think. Maybe I could go on Kaisa. Though. I was going to ask you that. What do you think? Like, yeah. Who do you go on Kaisa? Yeah, I mean, like, I, I think I was thinking I don't have enough mana to go on her at the uh -huh. moment. Or, or, like, if I go on her and I kill her, my team would just die. Okay. Let's look at how this went before I say anything. Still out of mana, right? Oh, you got some back. No, I got some from W. Yeah. I don't know if I need to The, the thing, okay, this person does flash in. <laughs> she ended up flashing in, though. <laughs> she ended up flashing anyway. That's so sad. Nah. Like, really, bro? I don't know. Maybe yeah. if she did that in the start. Yeah, uh, we would actually. We would did it flash in the end, yeah. Sure. Okay. Yikes. Ah, uh, okay. I'll okay. End up winning. Uh, yeah, you ended up winning. But I was gonna say, even though the fight, like, it's not American, this is good for your team, uh, etc. Um, I was gonna say, I think going to Misfortune would have been probably better. Because the thing is, um, they have a disgusting amount of AoE damage. Uh, you can probably go with me on this. So, but, but you... No, go ahead. Oh, no, 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 go ahead, go ahead, yeah. I was just agreeing with you. Oh, no, I, I thought practice wanted to do something. Because I, I think here, like, basically at the moment you go in, technically, I mean, you're not alone because your team is here, but at the moment you go in, you're kind of alone at that specific moment. Well, I mean, I'll start again. They have a lot of AOE. And look at even like even if you guys were more like look at how they ended up sonning you and at the start kind of winning. I don't know. Uh, then it will go the other way once he joins. Also, Nivea's W was a huge play uh, for them, right? Oh, okay. Good R. Okay. Uh, no, I like I like the fight you guys took. Uh, it didn't go as well as I expected because it was like a. Four, it was a bit sloppy three. at the start. Yeah, I, like I, and again, Weird. I think it's also like again you were not very advantage, but this is a concept that I made up that applies for this uh, specific moment, which is, uh, temporary temporary numeric advantage. And uh, what does this mean? This means that um, you are more. But in a specific moment you go in, you are less, actually. If that makes sense. So in in the fight, like joining the fight, there will be there will be more people. But in the moment you fight, you guys were less. Yeah, so, I know what you mean. Okay, so what I would do is either wait or an extra second for Gragas to come in the fight and then try to go into someone and burst him. Because with the with the bomba guy, with the Gragas, I'm pretty sure you could. I wait this extra second, or like I said, maybe try to go, uh, if you go for Kai'Sa, maybe Anivia will deviate uh, her path till here to Misfortune, because she was kind of looking at you, I think, a little bit. Let's see, uh, the moment is here, and you go past it. But she wasn't really at all, like, you could have just gone in. Yeah, Gragas isn't quite quite here yet. Neither MF, like, they're going, and I think you can jump, mm. like, walls and, and go faster than them, but they cannot. You didn't yeah, even get walled, but Anivia's here. Exactly, so instead of jumping in with the Alistar that I already used the combo, I would have waited this extra second to have the proper setup. Or look for a flank, which again, not really a flank because she was walking alone. That's that's why, right. like, I, I mean, we, we, uh, we, can, we both play DC, we know, like, walking alone like that is not a good idea, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we know how that, how that can get really ugly. Yeah, I can get second. slapped in the face by a big fat belly right now. Exactly, yeah, and even, yeah. even if you don't, even if you don't clear, you're at least getting her out of the fight, you know? 
Like you go in, she gets zoned out, you stay in the bush and you can maybe flank Anivia. Here, or, or, yeah. or whatever. But the point is, you're not jumping in the eye of the fight where they're gonna throw everything and get you CC'd and combo them. And again, it, it, Anivia, we, we, with your one question on this, I do not know. Maybe because I don't... Your Q cancels her R, right? Anivia's? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that would have been also my on my head as well. Because uh, the pro yeah, again, I didn't, the, I didn't the, think about that the, the area it creates, like Can't here, see. it worked, but again, barely, barely. Because I, I don't know, I, I guess because Miss Fortune flashed in uh, at the end. But again, even though you guys were more were uh, an American advantage in the moment you fought, there was no an American advantage, and the fight was good. Uh, but you can agree with me that someone else could have died in your team and it would have been an equal. Uh, like you could have died. Yeah, you played it pretty like, well, mechanically it speaking. Almost you know? turned bad because because uh, I went in too early. Exactly, exactly. And and here in the meantime, Bolivar is uh, scushioning, right? So if you yeah, got, like here, even though top. yeah, even though you kill four people and you had three with Bolivar pushing top, I would question if this was worth it at the end. Yeah, like this, this is the sad part, right? Is it's like. Okay, well, we're gonna need to fight at some point, and it's like we barely win that fight, and that was a four v uh, yeah, five to four, uh, exactly. Yes. Yeah, 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 you're, you're correct. And he's just taking a stop in the meantime, so it's like, okay, well, what fights can we win if we can't even win a five v four? Exactly, yeah, and this is also something I said it doesn't matter how much you are winning and what winning conditions you do have, if at the end, uh, the part that should be winning is misplayed, it wouldn't result in a win at all. So. That's also something uh, that, I, that I always say. Yeah. Kill this guy pro right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think... I, I really misjudged his damage. Yeah. Two item bolivers. Yeah, Misfortune nice as well. Was. Hmm. Your, team got, your team got some kills here though, right? They did they get the kills? Yeah, there's a dragon fight later. Okay, so if you, if you just held this pressure, this guy will have to back uh -huh. at some point, and then yeah, I think this is a really this is a really big blunder by me. Uh, I'm back in. Yeah, I, I agree. That could have been just held the pressure and then moving to. I, I think the initial trade is fine because I'm under turret, but I think my second R was like really bad. Yeah, the last jump in so, wasn't necessary. Yeah, that's I, okay, I agree. It's like now I know like okay, two item volleyball is gonna like fuck my shit up. Okay, this is uh, the kind of random fights that I talked about before. I don't know if you were. I think you were there when I talked about it. Like here, it's not your fault at all, I'm just saying. Like, you have no clue what's gonna happen. And you were there at the start, so I guess you had to TP. But let's see again, your team... I guess Alistar is a good engage. Uh, yeah, they're, they're just like, yeah. they're fighting it. Okay, the, the engage was pretty good though. It looks like it's a win. Yeah. Uh -huh. I knew it was. That's why I didn't mm -hmm. go to Vieco because I was like, okay, okay they're winning. Alistar so popped I don't off. To, go. to be honest, Alistar completely That's... popped off. Yeah. Pretty good. I mean, the bomba guy was also good. Yeah, yeah. He jumped in with our. Oh. That was pretty good. Yeah. TB was good to like just in case Alistar a fight. Like maybe you could be of use. This worked out, but it could have like not. And uh, this is also what I said. Like they have a lot of uh, zoning uh, area control, but if they get engaged, they lose all that. Right. Is uh, what what Balao was asking before. He left already, but he was asking uh -huh. before as well. Uh, let's maybe if we can see how this game ended, and then they were like separated too, right? Mm -hmm. True. It's like when when Wukong goes in, like the rest of them weren't there, so kind of defeats, defeats the purpose of their team comp. Oh, <laughs> man, she got like caught in the <laughs> middle he's, of the he's, wall. He's getting targeted here. <laughs> I salted in, like, uh, for for sure, and that was an overkill. <laughs> Actual depression, man. Okay, wait. Mm. And then you behind you? Yeah, I was thinking that. I, I think I just shouldn't have done this. I think this is... Even if you wouldn't cross the wall, you're probably dying. Yeah, I agree. Um, 
They already killed someone like, on your team. At like, this point, like I didn't know what to do, man. I, I don't. Know. Yeah. I, it's so hard for me to carry against a thirteen comp. Yeah, you're right. Uh, remember the 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 game you were at the start, right? When we were uh, uh, Wicked's game, like he was like completely losing and then went back and won, right? He recovered. Kind of what you should be doing here. I mean, I guess Wicked, you can explain this uh, that this concept, like what I'm trying to say, what what he should be doing. Um, the thing where you just wait for their mistakes and uh, go for the fight that you can actually win. Exactly. So, win. yeah. So basically, here, if you force like force on top, force here. Uh, I guess this fight was good in the red, but uh, maybe a little bit of a misplay. Yeah. Uh, those fights really, uh, again, even if you have some chance of winning them, it's too random. Like here, your ADC or picked up. They have an Asher, Just let them take it. It's. You know, it's it's yeah. better than letting them take it and also your team dying more people and then they have more pressure even. And now they have time to base and come back and without losing any waves, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes if your team already into you just take a loss. Take a loss and, and, and wait until you can actually fight back at some point, like patiently. Again, it sounds boring. I know it sounds boring. It will be better, like, more fun to say just go in and kill them. It's really, really just not how the game works. Uh, it's just about... Uh, waiting for someone to, to make a mistake, to misposition. In this case, your team has a good combo and and, and, and damage. Like, you do, I guess your team does have area control as well. I would say they have, uh, like, an Evia Wukong are pretty scary. <laughs> and the Bolivar, like, <laughs> it's pretty scary as well. Uh, this guy is built to split push anyway. But for example, that could be something you can play off. The uh, Bolivar is going to be splitting, has no TP. That could be something like an angle that you did in red buff, like your team did. That would be the angle. Maybe here with correct execution, and uh, that would actually result in a, in a pretty nice lead, you know? Uh, yeah, I think so my, my thought on it was if they get this Baron, then, like, you know, we're going to lose anyways. So mm -hmm. we might as well maybe try for this. But again, I mean, you, you, you the route, the not sure they're gonna get it anyway. It doesn't matter what you do. It's yeah, all that, like, that's true. They're, they're are you gonna, gonna uh, yeah, are you gonna take the fight? They have more, they are more, and they're actually gonna win it for sure, or you're gonna wait until, uh, you know, they go base. That's already sometimes they lose with not sure. I mean, it's not that much, but they base, come back, they pressure lanes, then your the next fight is gonna be in your base. What, what is more likely to win, a 5v5 in your base or a 3v5 here? Hmm. Yeah, I, I didn't think we would get to the base part, but yeah, you're right. I mean, you will. It's it's minute 25. Like, uh, like either way, they're getting it, so... They're getting the what? Either way, they're getting the Baron. Like, I, like me me doing that play didn't stop them from getting Baron. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, so it's not that long of a game, but I think those are the things, like, about knowing what fights you want to take and without forcing, uh, or, or these sort of mistakes that... Uh, just complicated, and then uh, they'll find like being a second more patient or looking again. Even if you're more, you gotta look at are we more in the moment you're jumping in? What are the enemies strong at? Like, strong at controlling the um, controlling the areas, like I said, like with an EV, a Wukong combo, Sona, they can just like control a lot with that, for example. Uh, it's just all yeah, having that into consideration. Maybe, maybe the play would be here just to like to pick off. Or take off the the Sona Kaisa and maybe anywhere. I mean the the Wu and the Volibear look scary for you, and to know where you can kill them, right? So yeah, maybe, it's not my like, job to kill them. Yeah, so maybe like look for the kills you can actually kill Kaisa and then the Sona before the fight, of course, if you if you can, or in the fight look for the overextension from the Kaisa. Yeah, Otherwise, of course. Or you need to scale more. You had like two items, right? Only. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two. Yeah. So. No when you are behind, it's it's always hard to to wait for more items, delay the game more. Yeah. <clears throat> but if but you can it's... come back in that in that master tier game, I think I can come back in my pistol emerald game. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I don't know if you have any questions about this game or or anything. No, I'm I'm just thinking the two big mistakes I think was dying to Volley Bear top and then uh trying to stop that Baron. Mm -hmm. Or wasn't even trying to stop the Baron, it was just 
fighting a 3v5. Okay. Yeah, and Juni in the fight a little bit late. Uh, yeah, so I, I guess from the side of what we're here to review, that's kind of all the conclusions we can get. Uh, if that's pretty much it, then we can move into the next one. Uh, thank you for submitting the game and for being here. Very much. Uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna do the next game, and I think then if no one has any other game or something, we're now like we started on being seventeen, now we're four or five. Uh, plus the two of us. So maybe we're just gonna do the next game, which is law, and then we will probably leave it here. How uh, how long do you plan on going with this? Uh, what was it like? In total, it's maybe a maximum is gonna be another half an hour. Okay. But it, it will maybe less, probably less, since we only have one game left. Uh, right on. So thank you for for everything, and uh, I'm gonna do. By the way, guys, for people that are here, then I will stay in the server. I'm gonna be doing like the next one. Maybe it's gonna be on stream. Uh, maybe and people just coming to the Discord uh, channel and you know all the stuff. Maybe not only about team fighting and not specific like this one. Maybe just overall the reviewing games, uh, playing whatever the person wants to review really. Um, but yeah, then I will be hearing to all of you your feedback. Uh, tell me if you liked it and everything. Uh, all right, then Proctus, thank you so much, man. And then I will move in law if you want and. Then I will. I look forward to seeing you again next time, and of course we can keep in touch. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay. All right. So I don't know if you want to stay here or move into the audience. It's the same. We're gonna look at the ADC games here. Uh, so. Oh, you want me to like go back? Okay. No, you can. If you no, I'm asking if you want to stay. Like you can stay if you want. Uh, yeah, I am, but not. Yeah, I will invite. Actually, I will kind of invite everyone since. Like we're a few now, so if you guys can yeah, want to talk, people. yeah, it's not like twenty people. Hey, hello, man. Hola. Hello, nice. guys. You guys want to join? Now that we're a few, you can join and mute. I mean, you know how to talk. Oh, he moved back. Ah, I see. Hello, hello. Uh, since we're a few, hello. uh, right. So, uh. Oh, tell us, I will call you by your Discord name. <laughs> tell us about the game you you chose. Well, I'm done already. Oh, um, yeah. Basically, uh, every game I play is not that long, so um, I just picked the most recent one. I thought might should have been one on my side. Mm -hmm. um, but Enemy Gwen pretty much solo carried the whole game, so we kind of lost. Okay. okay. There is basically uh, just one team fight at the end. Um, and yeah, after that, we just pretty much lost access from it. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, pretty much you said this last fight was the one that defined, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We pretty much won the whole game till some point, I guess. We, yeah, didn't, we couldn't do anything against Gwen at some point. Okay. Okay. Uh, so this is uh, as we said that when you play bot lane, lane. it's the top lane, <laughs> and when you play top lane, it's the bot lane. So this is just completely true. Uh, I like that you're going AP. I like the build. Uh, you probably agree with me. Uh, we can admit this is the best yeah. game here uh, without any question. So that's for sure. Uh, you have a Soraka. I guess when uh, I can understand why when it's the problem here, which is kind of the only one that you cannot hit really uh, in, at all, basically. Also, it's hard to W her because she dodges one, and if you miss, then you don't play the game, right? With Kaisa's W, as we know. So it's about being pretty patient. Also, another problem that I'm finding now, uh, your team has virtually no frontline for the tough fights, and that already sucks. In yeah. the sense that, uh, for example, someone has to put the face there for when to force her into using the W, then after that you can hit her. So without having that possibility, it kind of sucks. And also Jarvan, I do have like a bit of a... I don't want to say... Comp? Yeah, like a better... Let's say better than yours. Uh, like, you know, I don't typically talk about compositions because I don't think that matters that much in, in DC laws, but... In here, I, I do think it does matter uh, a lot, actually. Uh, so yeah, so maybe let's skip to here. You kill them. I, I want to see how. Yeah, pretty much. 
back and forth, um, nothing too special. We mm -hmm. get ahead. I mean, um, me, Graves, we pretty much got all the kills. Um, uh, Vladimir as well. He should have been able to do more. Probably also against the Gwen, which pretty much um, only build armor. But uh -huh. he wasn't able to do anything. Um, yeah, Graves had his issues because she just melts him and he has to go like into close range to do damage. So he gets completely countered. Mm -hmm. I had to go all in. She pretty much um, fucks me when I get too close. Yes. Um, so yeah. Yeah. Let's just... She shreds you. Uh, I was just lost all over. I don't know. Uh huh. All right. Uh, let's see if you can, if you could have countered that in a points. I really see something that's uh, a bit of a mistake. Uh, well, uh, I guess it will be more than one thing. Uh, in okay. this, uh, that's one. Yeah. Uh, for me, again, my personal opinion, it is a mistake. Uh, but again, I'm asking also myself, like you know, you cannot take heal, so I guess you're gonna take heal. Maybe ghost angle here or, or something. I, I don't know. I don't, exhaust. Are you really gonna exhaust anyone? Like Aurelion Soul, you're not gonna be in range. Israel, no. Lux, no. Yeah. When, no. Jarvan, if you exhaust him, you're probably dead anyway. So like, the, yeah. the team will kill you. So is it really gonna be worth? Uh, I'm Should thinking. Have gone ghost, yeah. It's, it's viable, but I was thinking, yeah, maybe the Ezreal is gonna be good and maybe. On one of those occasions when he aggressively is like bored mm -hmm. and should be dead, I can confirm his death with exhaust. Okay. Pretty much, but yeah. Uh, okay, I, I get that. I don't know. Uh, Wicked, what do you think? Um, I think that if Ezreal is good enough, then he will never come to your range because he knows that you are much stronger in a closer range. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, as as Mitch said, you don't use exos that much. Okay. So yeah, same. Yeah, that's my thought process. Uh, that's one thing. And uh, then the second one, I will just say it. Uh, you're maxing. You're maxing E second, which you're gonna be. So W, should be. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> um, autopilot. I guess. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's just for you to know. Uh, Next time, which you do know, I I know you do know, uh, but it's fine. We can also we can all get distracted and and not to pile out the wrong thing. Okay, oh, here you do exhaust him. Okay. Add value to the Sadly, minion, I lucky. Can, okay, the minion, but... I, I bet you can win this without exhaust, though, uh, for sure. Uh, just because Kaisa is better into this type of things. I just wanted to use it. <laughs> okay, no, no, it's good. It's good. You just completely walked. Yeah. It's good. I mean, you're Kaisa, I guess you cannot. Like, you're two levels above him. Like, if you don't kill him here, you know, I. You know. Uh, deserve yeah. to be, like. I'm... Nah, we all report you, like. <laughs> nah, just kidding. I mean, uh... you did everything, so. It was good, huge. it was good. Yeah, it was well played. And you also popped the potion, which d doesn't do a lot of people. Okay, I didn't even time. see that. It's good observation. Okay, that's nice. I didn't even see that. Uh, also, another comment. Um. Oh, actually, wait, Axel is in the audience, let me... Here, come here. Yeah, you have to be here, man. Uh... Here, join, join, join. Uh, also, Kai's a player, so we can all talk about it. Uh... I am ready to join, I don't know where is it, but... If... Uh, so... Uh, another thing that I was saying, uh, the boots. So, the boots are fine. Uh, but I, I don't know if you, I don't know if you really need attack speed, maybe like magic pen, because uh, like again, I don't see you hitting that many other attacks uh, overall, like you're probably just gonna double you from Narnia and that's it, you know, just basically because they outrange you and when becomes important mm -hmm. so yikes, uh, and again, without any front lane to hit, I guess Charvan could be considered, but again, the danger they have is pretty high for you to get that close. Uh, and your team is mainly burst, right? So no one's gonna be in front of you. That's what 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 I'm trying to say. Which, with you're not gonna be out attacking because no one's gonna be in front of you for you to deal the damage. No one's gonna thank you the when. No one's gonna thank you anything. Mm -hmm. uh, so that that's a big problem. I mean, and something you should consider in your in your team fight and positioning. Uh, you don't make it in time. Just push what uh, easy. 
I, I, we didn't talk in our sessions about mid game. Uh, so I, actually, we're gonna begin today later when we have an hour session. But I, I'm giving you a spoiler here. You don't make it in time. <laughs> Shouldn't even try to make it in time. See? Eh? Go for this. Take jungle, right? Take two waves here. This jungle, boom. You get 500 gold secure. That's how you order 400, it's whatever, right? Mm -hmm. uh, here you do push mid. Uh, that's fine, but someone's gonna catch. So you don't get anything here. Uh, could be, again, uh, if you don't make it, don't even try to make it. Uh, that's a good uh, premise. I don't know if uh, I see some people are, oh, Leo, you're leaving and joining. Is this just this? Okay, anyway. Uh, let's move into fights. I want to see fights in two when, man. It's just the main thing that matters why this game is a struggle. Yeah, I pretty much, um, I don't. I got the the only death I got is pretty much at the end, so I just cleanly um, try to take what is being offered without getting into that much risk. But mm. yeah, that's not enough. Okay. Kaylee, thank you for the joining. Yes. Good luck with your games. Right, so, uh, I wanna, okay, so I, I got what you said, uh, let's, let's try to find it in, in a proper fight, actually, actually. Yeah, this should be a kill. Okay, race missed. Still, okay, good. <laughs> yeah, you secure it, it's, it's, it's great. Uh, she didn't have a shutdown, but still, it's worth, uh, you get the time, like, she's off the map, she's fed and off the map, that's, that's good. Good enough to pressure the enemies. Now let's see how you do pressure the enemies, uh, so, so. Gotta make a little okay, this is huge. Do we have the base? 1.3k. Not really, okay. Push. Okay. Uh, thoughts on this? Huge. I think it's huge. Yeah, okay, so you did correctly, yeah. Perfect, yeah. Uh, perfect. Push, uh, killing someone, pressuring, taking something, cross mapping them, they were going to the other the side. This is great, so far. Um, so far, it's pretty good. I mean, the only thing I can tell you is this little things about Max and W, the build, the summoner, this little, like, which I think comes to match up and, and overall, like, knowledge on, on the specific, like, on the champion, maybe, may, may I say. Besides that, it's good. This rotation that I told you on cross mapping them, besides that, it's looking great so far. Uh, let's see what you guys achieve now with this Nasher. Maybe we're not talking about fighting. Not too much. You basically just kind of waste it. Uh huh. Still, you guys have it for. Um, Half almost. Let me run some down. Blood is pushing. It, this is an, another mistake. If you don't make it, don't even try. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's uh, uh, mm -hmm. you, like you're not gonna be of use, use, use here. Like the point here is that you push mid. Who can hold it? Who's here? Astro maybe. No, he's. You dive him. <laughs> yeah, like you dive him. You run. You run him down. I'm You're, the Ezreal's PC right now. It, the Ezreal is a cannon minion, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's primer useless. Like, exactly. The whole exactly. game. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, here, it, it, the same thing as before. If you don't make it or even try here, you get mid tower, actually. Yeah. Okay. You should get mid tower. So uh, it, this is an example of what I said at the start, which is uh, when do we take the fights? Uh, here, in all the times you moved, uh, well, not all, but in some of the times you moved, you weren't really needed there at all um so i think that that so far that looks like one of the main uh things you, you could work on okay but again because like let's see all the time that you could have pushed mid uh let's see from minute 22 i guess not now you couldn't let's say a little bit more uh, you'll be setting up okay you didn't change the world i was gonna say that. you could have have the blue board but bought a pink this potion is useless now buy pinks buy one pink here use this time that you push the wave Set a vision. This is more like a lazy world, covering nothing, right? Uh, but like with the wave, you could have tried to ward on better spots as well, and and sort of you know give more value. But sorry, what, what, what were you saying, uh, Wickham? Um, I was just wondering. Maybe like tell me if I'm wrong. But uh, since you have the Baron, it's advantage, and with the advantage you wanna push. And since Gwen is like a pain for like everyone here. You wanna push everywhere where it's not Gwen, right? So I would maybe look for that. Uh, 
ideally, in an ideal world, yes, but Mim is already there. Like bot lane, you're gonna go, top lane is doing the Mim is here, so you're not gonna get him out of there. Uh, you really have nowhere to go, actually. And again, when staying mid, it's also unlikely because he will never kill Kaisa. He will never kill Kaisa because Kaisa can just run back, right? Uh, that would be my my thought process. So uh, ideally, yes, you uh, your team. Let's say your team wants to pressure where, where when it's not in that place, but yeah. uh, you yourself don't, don't have anywhere uh, else to go. So this is good. What I'm saying is uh, here. This is great. Let's see the moment that I mean. Like here, here you could be already like looking for this wave. Uh, if so, I can help you. If you see when you just run away. Like I don't think she can catch you. Uh, unless I'm wrong, but I think with your evolved E, you can just. Evac, right? Uh, I think you both agree with me. Yeah, and the command doesn't even have the uh, ghost, so... Exactly, yeah. and she won both. So here, but I mean a lot here. And, and again, do you get something? Okay. Push one wave, okay, I guess you do get Astro. Right? It's good though, it's good. With, uh, yeah, th this, this is, this is great. Meant. Yeah, that's great. True, true, true. Yes. you're right. Where one is, yeah. Okay. So where one wasn't there. I, I guess pushing mid, it's also shorter lane, so this would have been faster and the best option. But this that you did still was good. Still was good. Uh, maybe it would be like a second or third option, you know? Yeah. yeah this is great. Yeah, when I spot, so this is free. I like it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Good job. Uh, now, once, I don't know if you like here, you probably don't. Uh, but once you see someone's holding this lane, just, just go away. Oh, you went away by yeah. the wrong route, okay. I didn't see it. Oh, you wanted to go mid. Mm -hmm. So you did want to go away. I guess you didn't I mean, die. There is no way Jarvan can kill Kaisa, right? With no. Soraka. No, 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 no. I mean, it shouldn't. They sh it shouldn't be away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I'm wondering how was this game a loss? Because it's. Uh... I mean, it looks good. The last yeah, fight great. at Dragon. That's where um she pretty much. Killed everybody, and yeah, that was it. Uh -huh. I think she gets to uh, inhib right now at that point. I had to back. Um, yeah, she just backs out. Mm -hmm. Next objective, she pretty much kills the whole team, and that's it. Wait. Yeah. Alright. Okay. No, I mean, I cannot really argue against this call. Uh, I mean, even if you're losing bots, it's yeah. mid lane is mid lane, you know? <laughs> it's basically my answer, so... Uh, can't really argue with this. Uh, your top lane is kind of meme. Kind of meme. It's, man, like... like a 1-7. Like, what are we doing? I mean, yeah. Like, it's... Like, yeah. He is as useful as this Ezreal, so... Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's the... These guys are friends out of the game or something. <laughs> equally horrible. Okay, so now we do Baron again. Yes, so yeah, now it's the time to get nice something. Yeah. We can defend a little longer, but we don't really use it to siege towers, I think. You have to base? Or why did you base? Do wait, okay, you have um, base. I didn't base. Yes. No, 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 there. No. But oh, you you yeah. cannot you cannot buy anything. Because mm. you need I, I know but you need one point two K. No, you even with selling the potions, you didn't have enough. You need like an extra hundred. Uh what a base. Uh sometimes I just do dumb bases, yeah. Just again, I don't I mean wait. Oh my god, this game is still telling me wait. Okay. I missed the key. Okay. Go back. Here you do base. And your team wants to pressure, and you should be here as well. Just you said you wanted to get pressure. How do you get pressure if you base? Right. Yeah. Uh, here you could be like pressuring the wave, doubling you, but you know, you W. Here, you'll be supporting this. Uh, like, your W will run away now. Oh, that's that's interesting. Uh, what? And she flashed that. Like Vlad was coming, you could have been there supporting the call anyway. Uh, we don't know <laughs> that was gonna happen, but. Uh, but yeah, let's see the promised uh, the last fight. This thing. W. Okay. 
Can I see she's, she's moving? She's dead. Give up. Still. Grave's still dead. Soraka didn't come. Uh, myself, I would stall this. Which stall, uh, yeah, think. stall like make it long like. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, yeah, I remember. Um, so basically, um, what should have happened is we could have stayed there to like um, uh, not. Um, I'd say yeah, intimidate them. The stall just, is the word. Yeah, wait for graves to come back up. Uh -huh. Um, what happened there? I um don't know why they kind of followed me. I was trying to be like kind of at the bottom of the pit. Right here, um, yeah. maybe um, get the wave or something. I don't really remember that much, but I was hoping for them to stay there um, because at any point I could just like turn around or um, W all or whatever, um, but not like really commit to the fight, but just stay there and don't let them get the soul. Uh huh. Um, the the what happens problem there? Problem is if, if you leave, they get the position. It doesn't matter if your team they, if your team stays, they'll get zoned out. Yeah. Uh, okay. So we can argue like, did you have to leave or do you have to stay? I don't like this fight anyway, so I wouldn't stay uh, because Trinamim does nothing and Soraka is pretty important. So I I know the wave is huge and it's a problem, but it is I what it is. You, you wouldn't get the wave, either way. Graves had to take it, so maybe. Yeah, I know, the drone, the drone fight. Okay, you die here for this? Is the moment you die? Oh, nice. Okay, so yeah, I, you. I die here, from uh, Aurelia. Hmm. Okay, you lost W, you lost W at the start of the fight for, because you used it on Dragon. Uh, it's also something like here. Oh my God, I went back a lot. Like this is fine, nice, you killed Lux. Uh, here to set a vision again, potion, buy a ward, uh, put up like long distance, uh, throw W's, and if with your vision you can actually zone them uh, a mm -hmm. little bit. Like, it's still, it, it's the word that I said, stalling. Do you know what that means? Yeah, I know. So that's what I will be looking to do as, as much as you can. Once they come and when he's there, don't fight, just leave. But again, you need to try to tell this to your team. And Trina meme, it's a problem. <laughs> He'll maybe just go in. Uh, and and we don't really know. Oh, to, it's okay. Just he just joined. So we guys can come to where um Muhammad, Muhammad I think it was pronounced man. Hello. Noel. Hi Pat, how are you? Doing good man. Hi everyone. Hi so, guys. What's up? Hi guys. Uh we are almost almost uh like over after if you have one game and you wanna quickly review, you can send me the, the screenshot and we can take a look after this one, by the way. If you want. I don't need to have one. <laughs> okay, if you don't have any, it's it's high. We can you can stay here. Uh, so uh, as I was telling you, um, the thing is, I will try to stall this as much as I can. Place vision and try to W them. So to say, you know, we're we're here. You say if you wanna come, we are here. Uh, and you can stay like with the vision you have with the vision. Uh, you can maybe stay a little bit here and try to zone them. When they come and when it's here, they will try to zone you out. You just leave. Really, I don't see a mm -hmm. way, like, your teammates can hold this, even with you, I wouldn't take this fight. Uh, when is GFL? Would we'll not take it. Pretty much. Uh, so, as far as this goes, I will just drop this. Here, you, do, you lose your W for the round, which is not bad, because you wanted to steal it. Maybe take a better angle, so you can hit someone else. Mm -hmm. If you hit from here, you will hit someone else. Or just try to hit them, I mean, that's also valid. Uh, this fight I dislike completely. Like again, do you wanna like? Do you really wanna commit a fight with Trinamim? Yeah, it's it's completely stupid. Exactly. I mean, I don't even have a front line. I can get just instantly. Yeah, Q. I don't even know the abilities from Jarvin, but he's he definitely gonna jump on me. Yeah. Um. I don't even know why we just didn't like give enemy team the the, the dragon because I mean we don't really care that much about it. Well, it's your soul. Um, I mean, I mean, it's our soul, but even, I mean, Graves wasn't up, so, and we were only three people there, so uh, three v five, it's just not doable. Just give it up and take the next one. I think that would have yeah. been more clever. Definitely, I hundred percent agree. Yeah, that would have been the best option. 
And again, uh, Grace was pretty huge part of your team, so is Soraka. And this guy, it's the least important. Like, this guy will go in and die. You don't get engaged. Vladimir can probably survive anyway, because no one is on him, right? No one was on him mm -hmm. at this moment. So, you don't get engaged. You back off. Vladimir backs off. Backs off. Trinamim dies. Uh, they get the dragon and they do nothing. I mean, it's... They don't have any way. I mean, bot lane. If now, if you all die, they end on bot lane. I guess that's what happens, right? Or, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, if I'm if I'm guessing, like you all die and they end bot lane. Uh, that's exactly what they do. Yeah. Exactly. It's kind of predictable. The thing is, uh, if you just said, you know, they got a dragon, it, it's fine. I'm just gonna like use Ws and maybe try to get it and back off. Your team doesn't die. Uh, I mean, Trina Trina does. Uh, they won't end the game because they kill the one that is a cannon minion in your team. Uh, so you just stole it, and then next fight you're gonna take it, and let's hope it goes better. You got the soul coming up next, so as you said, you know you don't have to rush it, right? It's not it's not a fight that you have to take 100 percent sure. Mm -hmm. uh, that would be the idea of saying, but you know probably this part of this you knew it. Uh, but again, to me looking at this is that the risk of the risk versus benefit. It's super low in, in for you it's not worth at all like the risk is incredibly high you lose that fight day in the game the benefit is just the soul which is great but the odds are not in your side yeah i definitely see um the mistakes um i think i probably didn't look at the map or at who was really there with us at the mm -hmm. fight and um thought okay jarvin can engage on me doesn't matter because i won't probably die from it and probably can kill him um pretty quick afterwards but that wasn't the case and yeah miscalculations um misplays and yeah just overall not looking yeah lost us the game but yeah i i pretty much got the the answer to okay. why awesome okay awesome so any other question or anything you want to know about this game or overall um not really on the game but um the session we probably want to do later um can we do that on another day uh of course yeah okay yeah definitely we can move it no problem no problem at all okay because uh then i'd play right now go into ranked a little bit oh, of course of course yeah, yeah, yeah. And... um don't forget that tomorrow is patch so the games will be lost but if you want to play more and then get it uh, we can schedule, yeah, man, for Friday slash Saturday, we can talk. Yeah. All right, awesome. Okay, then good good. luck with, uh, with the games, man. And thank you for being here. You can stay if you want. Maybe we'll review and talk a little bit more. Or if you want to yeah, go play, yeah. you know, just go. Oh, Patch is here. Huge shit. New snap, guys. New science gun just dropped. The what? New science gun just dropped. <laughs> okay. Maybe, so it, shit. It, it's, it is? Yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, I don't know, um, wait, uh, Zero Drive, by the way, I'm calling everyone by the Discord names, so I know it's Mohammed. uh, do you have any, like, thing you want to ask, or thing you wanted to look at, so uh, I just joined? No, I was just looking at the, um, at the preview of these games, uh, I, I couldn't download any games, because there is an error in the client, I think. Oh, true, okay, you got oh, that yeah, yeah, that, okay. there is an issue. Yeah, yeah. Okay, then we can we can do it next time. I will do uh, uh, okay. this type of sessions as well uh, in the future. I will try to do in stream. I will, I would like to do them, so you all are invited, of course. Uh, okay. and yeah, but what do you think, guys? If we do like before we end this, uh, maybe a little patch review. We read the patch. I don't know if any one of you read it. Uh, Shino, you probably did, right? So what? You did you did read it? You read it already? The patch or not yet? No. Should we take I'm a look? Stream. Okay, should we all take a look then? Uh, let's see what we have here. Yeah, of course we can uh let's see briefly uh and talk about it briefly adjustments on action atrox this we all knew was happening or i guess this too we we knew black ADC screen oh it's black screen quinn oh. adjustments oh no no whoopsie whoopsie right. uh, oh, quinn okay let's let's read let's read uh atrox passive uh physical damage this we knew uh this i didn't know actually this uh ah. physical to damage uh to magic Oh, okay, they're basically nerfing uh, damage, as it says here. It's just basically a purpose. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. He's really OP this time. It, it is. Speaking of man, like... Switching the way passes the uh, armor foundation, won't scale, won't scale on damage, self-healing as much as healing spells mitigation. Okay. 
Basically, they're nerfing Aatrox as a thing. Like they're saying, they want him to go. Douglas Tanky, oh, exactly. Allow items. him to play. Exactly. Yeah, he want to nerf the uh, assassin Aatrox. I support this. I think Aatrox is not meant to be an assassin at all. So. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I very much like this. <laughs> uh, statistics. Honestly, we can look of why. Uh, I don't. <laughs> Does anyone care about this? Because I, mean, I don't. I will then read it fully, but I don't care about this. Uh, let's crank. Maximum. Yes, no, uh, okay. yes. no on it now, I think. Was it? Uh, wait, okay, you have to go. Okay, you guys. Yeah, okay, you guys. Uh, see you later then. Good luck if you play. And thank you, everyone, for being here. It was a pleasure. And good luck. See you around. Thank you for everything. Okay. Uh, we can keep going. We have... What do you say, Shino? They removed what? I will, I will end the recording. No, here. all good, all good, all good.